Say hello, Rob. Why are you doing voices? What are you building me? Oh, a ball factum to act in ice and supplies. A bookcase. A bookcase. We're going to put it right here. So I moved my pink chair. We're going to put the bookcase up, rearrange some of the paintings, and put my collection up. You got a nothing on the bottom, Andy. Nothing on the bottom. So all of this stuff behind Rob is all of the things that I have been decluttering slowly from up here and I haven't taken care of them. And she like expects me to do it, but so I, didn't, I, I didn't start that. So I, need, <laughs> I need to go put these all in the trunk so we can take them to Goodwill. <laughs> so they'll sit in there for another three weeks. Probably. Bailey. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Are we building a bookcase? Ladybug, as you guys can see, we uh, did ladies grooming. So she got her hair cut for the summer finally, and now she looks like a little naked puppy. She's still a little princess. She is still daddy's she is princess. Daddy's princess. She's been sleeping with me daddy's nonstop. Daddy's princess, because she's, she's cold now. Ladybug, why so pretty? Yes, you are, lady. Why so a sweetheart? So this was Sunday night after Rob had finished building the bookcase and it was super late at night, but I was trying to figure out how I am going to utilize these five shelves, I guess. And my first thought was I would separate everything by products. So all of my body creams, all of my lotions, all of my mists. I thought about doing it that way and I started separating them then by kind of like season I guess and in my brain how I have always organized my products it's always been by season and it's always been spring summer fall and winter and I would organize them in like the last season would be at the bottom of whatever shelf or you know organization I was using at the time and I would always constantly rotate them and I've done this for so many years and I know I put on my community tab recently how do you guys organize your products and I was kind of surprised but at the same time I'm not surprised that my brain works this way because so many other people would just do it by all of their product types. So just the lotions, just the body creams, the body oils, everybody, it kind of sounds like the majority of people would organize it that way. And that's just not my brain. <laughs> so you'll see that I did go through all of my creams. None of these are the ones that are in the archive. I still haven't decided if I'm going to move everything from the basement and get a nor another storage piece and put it on the other side of my pink chair. I'm thinking of like an eight or a nine cube horizontal storage system and then putting my archive there. I was kind of thinking of doing that. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. It is a lot of work to bring everything back up from the basement. But at the same time, I'm kind of realizing, guys, I never go downstairs to like the basement. I never go down there. So if I really want to make a video or pull something to kind of compare and show you guys, it would be so much easier if it was actually up here in the loft where I do about 90% of my filming. So everything that you're seeing right now, like I said, is not in the archive. It's in my personal collection. This is the stuff that I'm trying to use up. This is everything in my body cream collection right now. I'll do probably a dedicated video to just each category, like all of my body creams, and I'll do that soon. Um, that was actually on my list for last week, and I never got around to it. We are going through some things, and things are super, super busy for us, and I just had not filmed, guys, in I think like 
eight days or something and it felt really weird i was trying to stay active with the few you know seconds minutes that i could so that is everything that you guys are seeing this is later on and i started doing kind of what i was saying where i was going to start like organizing it by season this is now Monday. So that's everything I did Sunday. It's Monday now. And this morning I got the idea in my head that I was going to do shelf paper in my vanity because these two shelves way up here, I thought since I'm going to be moving the majority of my body care collection into like our bedroom area, as you guys will see, this is kind of what I've done so far. So that top shelf is winter and then everything I have currently for fall, everything for summer, and then everything for spring. And I tried to pair up my products because it's so much easier to find that way, at least it is for me. And the very bottom shelf, these are just what I still have currently for my Victoria's Secret. I haven't added the items that I did my last Victoria's Secret haul. I haven't added those yet, but that's kind of what I'm doing. I come back and I'm like, okay, guys, I am going to do all of this shelf papers for some reason. So I got it in my head that that's what I was going to do. And guys, this was definitely a pretty big undertaking. It was a lot more than what I thought that it was going to be. It was a lot. I'll see about possibly editing. And also guys, I'm afraid of heights. So I was on Rob's um, like utility step stool thing and it was kind of scary for me not gonna lie <laughs> not gonna lie it was kind of scary the paper that I'm using is this vintage like Victorian newspaper style shelf paper that me and my mom had found a roll of at a thrift store when she first moved here and she was still like actively shopping and we were having fun so I thought that was kind of a great way to kind of incorporate mama just just for a minute. And it just made me kind of, I don't know, think about her a little bit. But I'm not going to keep going, guys. I'll show you guys and I'll start editing some of this because it's really boring just watching me <laughs> cut up the shelf paper. So this is how the shelf paper looks when it is all done guys it's taken me like all day <laughs> so that's one shelf the second shelf took a lot to try to do and then I'm trying to figure out <laughs> where I am going to store everything and I just decided that like my dove collection I was going to put way at the top because the majority of the Dove body washes I have left are more um, like winter and more fall. So I just put them at the top shelf since that's not something that like I kind of reach for every day or constantly because I'm rotating through body washes a lot. I think like I rotate them like every week I do a different body wash of some sort. So I'm just putting those at the very top and then you'll see i start organizing the bath and body works um body washes in a little bit so i'm finally organizing the shelf of the bath and body works body washes i paired all of robert's together he has i think four of them and he's currently using i think one or two in the shower right now and I have, I believe, two of the moisturizing body washes left. And I'm sitting here in my head trying to think of how I'm going to pair these. And I decided to do spring, summer, fall, and then winter. And I'm realizing for fall body washes, I don't have hardly any at all. So I, I think that is something that hopefully this fall I'll pick up some more of is body washes and I was already contemplating and kind of thinking to myself what is on my wish list of items that I really need and when it comes to winter items 
I'm pretty sure if there's a new scent, I'll pick up a new scent. And then I might just pick out lotions because I have body creams and mists to the, um, not the Everyday Luxuries line, the Holiday Traditions line. If they add a new scent, I might pick that up, but I really just need like body lotions to keep in my collection of holiday scents. And when it comes to fall, there's just a couple of things that are on my wish list, but I'll make another video just dedicated to what's on my wish list and what I'm currently interested in getting. Um, but yeah, just kind of organizing all of the body washes right now. We're all really loving having a body wash collection. I think the kids love it. I love it. Robert he's enjoying it too. He might say some things, but he enjoys it too. But I'm realizing for fall body washes, I think I have two and that's really, well, no, technically three, I think. I have like three scents of body wash for fall and that's it. And that's so weird. Um, so I definitely need some more fall body wash and I might pick some up at the next um, body care sale that happens. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just organizing, you know, this collection here. And I will have dedicated videos coming up soon. As you guys can see, underneath this body wash shelf is where I'm still storing the um, signature line scents from Bath & Body Works. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I don't know if I'm going to move them. I kind of like them where they are right now. Um, so it's been fun just kind of like reorganizing and getting to play with my products a little bit. It makes me realize that maybe this will be a little bit more motivation to do more of a use it up project or a weekly fragrance um, and I do have three scents that I pulled from the collection and I just have those on my dresser with my perfume and I did move the everyday luxuries collection to the top of the bookcase my rainbow I love it but yeah guys thanks for watching my first kind of like fragrance vlog this might be super boring to a lot of people, but I really appreciate kind of just taking some time to chat with you guys. Let me know if you guys have any advice for storage or if you think that I could maybe do something a little bit different. I'd love to hear your advice with that. And I've missed you guys. We've just been super busy. Mama's doing fine, so she's doing wonderful. We've just been really busy, but... I'm looking forward to jumping right back into filming, guys, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't move too fast, honey. We're pictures. Not me again.